What's up, team? Your boy J3 is back in the building. I got a special guest for you guys today. Morning, Joe Genji, Cyborg PD in the building, baby. What's up, man? We back again, once yeah. again. Review time. For Stranger Things. Stranger Things 3. This is the guy right here. Yes. Who told me about Stranger Things Season 1. Oh, yes. History returns. It was Always. that Thursday, I, I'm correct? Yeah. That Thursday. Hey, man, this is shows like the Goonies. It's like this is like that. You'll like it. Yeah. Friday, I watched it. I loved it. We reviewed that thing. Yep. 2016. Yep. Season 2. Same thing. No. Nope. Now we're at season three. three. Stranger Things. Full circle, man. Let's get let's get the audience in the mood. Take a look at that trailer. At least someone's happy I'm home. Just a dream. You're dreaming. I'm talking about epicness. epicness that that trailer right there man they they it's like they just got better with age it's like wine with this show I, it's, de I, it's definitely evolution it's more it's it's cinematic to me yeah it's a show but it's it's cinematic the episodes feel like many sequels you know what i mean and i love how they don't say like part one or part two it's just the number and then the title yeah and the, and the titles are so unique yeah the car. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the you know what I mean? <laughs> like, and then yeah. the chapter one, so you're getting that book reference. Yeah. It's like, okay, the visual novel. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. uh, anthology, because a lot of those shows were kind of going for that period of time. This is like old school stuff. Oh, Everything yeah. was like chapter, episode. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Roman numerals between the numbers, the the font. Preach. Yeah, it was books, man. It was very uh, novelistic and, you know, cinematic. It was great, man. You would think this show was based off a book, how how creative and yeah. how organized it is throughout the episodes. You can see the um, the impact as far as what Stranger Things has done as far as, like, people trying to recreate that nostalgicness, but they forget that we like the characters and we like this world, and the nostalgia comes secondary. <sighs> And they incorporate the nostalgia into the narrative. So well. So it blends with the story because these characters are feeling and reacting how we would when we first were experienced to that. So it, it's like an extra bonus, you know what I mean? It's, it's down, great. Down the line bonus. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and... Re this is a spoiler-free review. We're going to get you in. We're going to get you out. Because yes. we got to do a spoiler review. I, 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 it's so much I want to talk about. But I, I oh, yeah. say, I got to do a spoiler free. Yeah. Because, you know, a lot of people ain't watched it yet. Haven't you know watched it yet. So I don't want to ruin it. Which is weird. So yeah, hopefully I'm this allows that. you to get into that. So, so uh, bear with us. Let's just, I, I'm, I'm going to be 100. Let's get on the best part of the whole show. The Duffer Brothers. <laughs> let's talk about the Duffer Brothers. The, the Duffer... idea. These guys were, they are our age. So yeah. they, they grew up in a lot of that time period, man. I think it was great for them to set this in the past. Yeah. Because... If you modernize this, it just it takes away the element of the excitement because you have things and technology that will kind of diffuse situations. Mm -hmm. Things will be easily taken care of. You know, you got weapons and stuff that would just handle everything. Mm -hmm. You got communications that would kind of just solve everything versus the mystery of just figuring out and not having the resources. The key word. And I think that's what it is. The lack of resources it will, is what make this show work. He ain't lying. The Duffer Brothers aren't the only one who touched on this project. There are other writers and directors, Sean Levy, William Bridge, Kate uh, Treffy, Treffy. Mm -hmm. uh, who else we got? We got Uda, Bryce Woods, and Paul, Paul Ditcher, and uh, Curtis, Curtis Gwynn. Gwynn. They, right, also, sure. they also did uh, certain episodes, yeah. but let's really go on the concrete of the Duffer Brothers. 
Uh, I, I'm gonna have to say their directing, their writing style is very creative. They were able to up the annies in season three compared to what season two was. Season two for me was it was it was really good, but it was slower than season one, and they were able to speed it up, show us growth with the, the kids, show them getting older, showing teenage uh, problems, showing the just the development of this cast was just so phenomenal. It really kept uh, kept captures you when you feel like you know them. Yeah, I think for me, uh, this first season was really about uh, the introductory to Hawkins, Indiana, and who these people were and what the upside down was, trying to figure out what the upside down was. Yeah. Then season two comes out, it's like, all right, this is how the upside down operates. How is this situation and this event affected Hawkins, Indiana? And it opened up the universe, which the middle chapter always does. And then three's kind of like warfare and survival. Yeah. Three's really about survival. The stakes have gotten higher. Villains are rising. Uh, new plans are being plotted. It's it's crazy. So it's kind of like that final chapter, even though you, you know that there's more coming. Stranger Things 3 feels like the final chapter to an epic somewhat trilogy. Yeah. Even though things are left open, that's where the good mystery comes in. Because it wasn't like, oh, okay, you could have easily wrapped that up. But there's still questions. There's a lot of questions. And questions. there's still uh, revelations as to uh, characters that have kind of were missing since season two. Yeah. Are they going to come back? You know, so things like that. So I feel like each season felt like a middle bridge gap of a movie trilogy is like i said is very cinematic and uh these characters had these evolutions through each uh, season their behaviors were very different uh they went through life changes in different seasons mm -hmm. uh they were not the person that they were from the previous season yeah. you know they changed over time um as people but they're still the same people that we know and love but their foundation and their whole outlook on life and being that survivor and being that heroic person has changed over time versus who they were in the first season. Yeah, and the Duffer Brothers was really was great. creative with putting that together. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about the cast real quick. Uh, these kids are great. All of them, man. Uh, they, the chemistry between these kids, you'll think they went to the same preschool. Like it's like they know, it's like they've known each other their whole lives. They have great chemistry. These kids, man, are just phenomenal. I just, I love each one of them except for Will. I think all the kids, <laughs> Will's whack, but he's he, he still has his, he's still in the group. He does his job. He does his job. Yeah. Get on my nerves. And you know what I mean? Will's whack, but Lucas, Mad Max, Eleven, uh, Mike, Mike, man, Steve, Dustin, Dustin, Dustin man, cool, man. Th th this group, man. And they added some new characters, uh, uh, Erica, Erica uh, Lucas' Robin. little sister, Robin, man, psh, Y'all did a great job with this cast, man. These kids are phenomenal, man. I just love the energy that each one of them bring. They and bring they, something they, new to the table. The new additions, time. they always shine. They always come in, and they don't kind of like wear out their welcome. It's like they you want them to stay around because they make that uh, that first introduction is so impactful because they stand on their own. They have their own morals. They have their own ideals, and they blend right in because... It's not like, hey, I'm a new kid. It's like, hey, well, this is what I'm about. This is what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I, I'll go to school with you guys. Yeah. What are you guys about? So hey. it's just kind of like a mission, like them kind of figuring each other out. It's never like, oh, who has the most screen time? I never felt that. When they showed up, I was like, okay, they belong. Rick. I want to see where they're going to go. Question. Yeah. It. Is that Derry, Indiana? What is that? Dry, where, where's it at? Oh, uh, Derry, Maine. Derry, Maine. Derry, Maine. Okay. Yeah. It sounds too similar. Stephen because, King's hometown. Because, uh... These kids ain't got no parents for some reason. I don't, I, yeah. These parents don't exist, bro. Possible. Oh, I, I see where you're getting at. I'm like, this is the same thing as it, man. Like, where your, where your crossover. mama at, bro? <laughs> That'd be a tight it's, crossover. It's midnight, bro. These kids oh. are outside playing. I guess because it's the and 80s. And it was in the 80s. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're on to something. So I'm, I'm just like, yo, but re regardless of all that. That'd probably be a few years because season uh, It Chapter 1 was like 88. 88. Yeah. So Actually, couple. it was before that. Yeah. You know, they just, they, you know, the right. book, you know. Yeah. But anyway, we ain't going to get right, to right. that it, but. I was just I was just asking, but no, these kids did a great job. Renona Ryder, still gorgeous, still hot. She's spot on. Man, this shit don't make no sense. They they even made her like an old lady. Yeah. Cause she's older now, but she still. She still got it. She still got it. Yeah. And 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 uh, a Hopper man, a David Harper. David Harper, bro. yeah. God damn, he's like the he's like the the uncle you always wanted. He, how can I say it? He tight. <laughs> yeah, he just <laughs> his one hitter quitters that don't exist, but he's still tight. 
an iconic figure, man. Just deputy sheriff taking charge. He knows everybody. Yeah. He's he's heroic. He's dramatic. Uh, he's a law enforcer. He's a father figure. He's a best friend. He he can go anywhere. You know what I'm saying? You just you care for him and you understand him because he lost a lot. And like season one really made me connect with him because he did have a family at one point. Season two and three was him coming into his own, embracing that aloneness. And then it's like I'm gonna start a new life. I'm gonna start yeah. new memories. I'm gonna create new ideas. I'm gonna set a new future. I, I gotta leave what was behind. I grieve. I gotta move on. So he became a brand new person. He reinvented himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joyce came back into his life. So he's still that same guy. But again, that those changes like really made him even that much of a bigger character because yeah, he yeah. realized what he lost. He wanted to give that and gain that to these other people because what he lost, he felt like, well, I can be that beacon since these kids don't really have that. Mm -hmm. So it, it was like great, man. Uh, transition for him, I think it made his character that much greater. Uh, same thing from Joyce, man. It's just that the evolution and uh, the narrative for them always kept growing. It never stopped. Yeah, and they, they had, never and, missed and, a beat. And, and you'd think they knew each other too. The, the chemistry of this cast yeah. is just phenomenal, yo. Like, they all just get it. Yeah. You know, there's not one beat that's like, yo, you suck. Like you don't you don't hear that. You everybody just clicks. They're in one sync, yeah. Like like they're unity or something. Like it's just it's 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 weird. It's crazy. But the acting is phenomenal in this show. Uh we can't go without talking about the music. God damn. Yeah, this score. music is just tch, man. masterful, man. <sighs> Storytelling in itself uh, really puts you in that setting of the 1980s. Really does. Um, synth wave, yeah. electronic synthesizers was a thing in that time. Uh, Yamaha keyboards, getting those organic sounds, and then you throw some little bit of orchestra in there. But it's very reminiscent of that time, you know, around keyboards, and electronics. That was yeah, the big yeah, thing. Yeah, that was yeah. a big movement, new wave, and uh, they really utilize it because these are brand new scores and brand new sounds. But it feels like it was created then. Back then, and man. That's phenomenal. Man, and then and then the crazy thing is, like you were talking about earlier, how the Duffer Brothers did the settings. The setting and with the music, it's just, this is just, Stranger Things is strange how great the show is. I was, mm -hmm. Honestly, I was expecting season three to really drop. Not too severe, but drop. Yeah. But that shit went higher than ever. This could be possibly one of the best shows we've ever seen. Because every season, it gets better. And the journey and the adventure is what we all sign up for and they give you that every episode and that's every what's missing episode. in a lot of shows of today like how every episode Adventure. ain't boring right there's always something going on and you got multiple characters to follow yeah. so when things start to slow down you're still worried about lucas what's, what's he about to get into yeah all right it's what's like dustin doing now what, there's always something to follow when i was watching it i was like damn they this show and it's no spoiler i just you know they got older, and it was like, damn, this is a new squad of, of members. They got they got four teams. Yeah. You got the Hopper and Joyce. Yeah. You got the Lucas, Will, Eleven, and Mad Max. You got Steve, uh, uh, Steve, Dustin, Dustin, and Robin. Erica, Robin. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see where you're going. Yeah. And then you have uh, new squads now. Yeah, they got new team ups. They got new team ups. Yeah. Like yo, and at the end of the day, we all come together. Oh, and then you have. The sister, the brother and sister, uh, 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 Will's, Will's sister and, uh, Mike's, John, Mike's sister and Jonathan. Will's, and Jonathan, yeah. yeah. And they team up. So you got four teams. It's crazy now. And everybody's doing something that revolves around one entity and, and getting the job like done. Because you got one squad that's kind of just regrouping and getting back together. You got another squad that's trapped in a certain situation. And then you got another squad that's just trying to figure out, well, where is everybody else at? So everybody's in different places and... This chaotic event brings them back, reunites them, and then they become that one big family team again yeah. with new additions added. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, yeah. And with that music and that setting, that shit just feels right. Yeah, the soundtrack's fire, period, man. They're dope. Uh, like I said, it's a spoiler free. I don't want to ruin too much, man. Anything you think we missed out of uh, a spoiler, re spoiler free review? Well, we kind of set the tone. I feel like we said it though. I, I I will revisit the season again. It was that strong for me. Yeah. Uh, it was more than just like a a great show. It was it's been an experience for me, just watching them going through the episodes. Like experiences. I was on a journey, and when it was over, it was like, dang, what I'm gonna do now? Same as season one and two. Well, what I'm gonna do? Only eight episodes. Yeah. That. I guess I'll watch Cobra Kai next. That's how. <laughs> that's how strong it is, dude. It's like, dang. <laughs> Benjamin is a gift and it's a curse because it's yeah. like season four. Where that's what I hate about. What? I wish every episode was every now. week. I'm stuck now. 
could you imagine a conversation? Like that's I, I think that's one of the things that I like getting all the episodes, but it's like man, I, I'm gonna need that next season like immediately right after. Yeah, because I'm, I'm left with a cliffhanger. I was emotional. I'm like I'm stuck. Yeah, this one was a hitter, man. But uh, I don't want to spoil too yeah, much. Yeah, so let's go ahead and give this that. season three of Stranger Things a great Ron Kenji. Season one you gave it was an A, I believe. Yeah. Season two was an an A. What do you give season three? An A. Fuck. Yeah. Triple A. Triple. Yeah, triple. Across the board. A, A, A. Solid. I gave season one an A. I gave season two, I believe, an A minus. And season three, this is a shock shocker for myself. Yeah. Because the journey, the adventure, the new cast, you know, I like Mad Max season two. I, I really love her in yeah. season three. Yeah. I love Robin and I love Erica. God damn. The new girl Trinity, fire. Freak. They all shine. They were tight, bro. They were bruh. all shine. Man. I don't know what Lucas and they took a back seat or something. They all into kissing, but uh, and and Steve, Steve became one of my yeah. favorites, man. I, I just, Dustin's still my boy though. Yeah, Dustin's Dustin Dustin still my is dude, cool. Man. He cool. always he always surprised you, like just when you think all right, he would ever now he, he come and do something awesome and amazing yeah, yeah, yeah. and surprise people. Hey man, I've been doing this. I've been talking to this person. Hey, I, I just I created this. He always invents and stuff. He's all his mind's always. He's going. the pop culture guy. He embraces that stuff. Yeah, 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 man. I like season three better than season one and two. I'm gonna give season three an A plus. Tight. It was that uh, bruh, the ending, man. That, that yeah. if, if you catch your boy J three with a that ain't right. That is that's not right. Yeah. It's not right. Don't do me like that. <laughs> that's A plus quality right there, bruh. So yeah, that's our spoiler free review on Stranger Things. Look out for the spoiler review. Nice. Uh it's coming. Uh right after we finish this. Tight. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I'm J3. Running Joe Genji, Cyborgpedia. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and push that subscribe button, thumbs this video up, and don't forget to share Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We out.